Tonight, three Americans, finally free, are back on U.S. soil. Evan Gerskovich hoisting his overjoyed mother at Joint Base Andrews. A world away from just last month, when the Wall Street Journal reporter was sentenced in Russia for spying charges in what the U.S. called a sham trial. Gerskovich now urging action to help Russians still imprisoned. Basically, everybody I sat with is a political prisoner, and nobody... Nobody, no, nobody knows them publicly. The historic prisoner swap involving seven countries, the largest and most complex since the Cold War. Other leaders trust you, you trust them, and get things done. President Biden also welcoming home Paul Whelan, the former Marine, later accepted the commander in chief's flag pin. Whelan had served time in a notorious Russian penal colony after being arrested on espionage charges in 2018. Yeah, I'm glad I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going back there again. A third American, journalist and Russian dual citizen Alsu Kermasheva, embracing her teenage daughters and husband. Alsu is not just my wife, uh, but she is uh, my best friend of more than 20 years. Um, I'm glad that we are finally reunited. Today is her youngest daughter's 13th birthday. She and her older sister gave up tickets to a Taylor Swift concert in Poland to welcome mom back. I think it's definitely one of the best birthday presents anyone can get. And about Taylor Swift, um, we're pretty upset about it, but definitely we think it was worth it. The White House is now touting Vice President Kamala Harris's role in the negotiations. She met with the German Chancellor and the Slovenian Prime Minister at the Munich Security Conference in February. This is just an extraordinary testament to the importance of having a president who understands the power of diplomacy. But former President Donald Trump is calling the prisoner swap a win for Vladimir Putin. The Russians made a great deal. I'm not going to be criticizing it because it's good to have them home, but they, they got a phenomenal deal, and that sets a very bad precedent. Tonight, other families are heartbroken. American school teacher Mark Fogel has been detained in Russia since 2021. His sister says he's been left behind. It's really one of the most incredible betrayals that I uh, have lived through. Um, I, I hope that they make it right. Today, the president up. promised he's up, not giving man. up on bringing Fogel home. And Gabe, what's next for the Americans who were released? Well, Lester, they'll now receive post-isolation treatment at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio. That's the same facility that has helped reintegrate other prisoners, such as Brittany Griner. There are still more than 40 Americans wrongfully detained or held hostage around the world, Lester. All right, Gabe, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.